be anti mage. Okay. On Besh Barmac, we're gonna have a Shadow Demon handled by 1.618. We've got a uh, Bakonli Gyrocopter. Uh, Grozny's will be playing the Elder Titan. Do you ever notice that Elder Titan is kind of short? If you look at him in VR, he's really short. Um, he actually looks a little bit shorter than the Shadow Demon there. You probably wouldn't think is that tall either. Like, he's got really short legs. You would think that a guy who like stapled the world together would be a little bit taller. He's got really short, stumpy legs. Um, Darkseer, the guy with the pointy head, is going to be Orchester. And finally, our mid lane Medusa is going to be handled by Lol. Uh, Alright, so we are ready to get into our game. 33, putting down that ward to... Uh, not sure if that blocks up the camp. Yeah, they can't see. I don't know what the command for that is, but in any case, he's gonna put a word there, getting some vision of the jungle. I don't necessarily. I don't think that one blocks. Could be wrong. Sing Sing is ready for the rune, though. He will be in the mid lane. Got Bone Seven at bottom. Eight tangos. He is ready with some regen. It looks like everything is good. All right, so. We're going to be getting into this match right now. Sing Sing hasn't gone for a skill yet. Uh, Elder Titan will be showing his face over at the the rune a little bit. Sing Sing goes into the roof, but checks to see if there's anyone there. Throws an arrow into the big guy. Does literally nothing. The battle begins. So the vision has been placed out for the Radiant Squad, and there is a ward on Shadow Demon just kind of saving the time on that, I guess. Where is their vision? All right, they put one over at mid. So they get a little bit of the rating side there. And I'm sure we're gonna be seeing a another word from him pretty soon. In terms of matchups, we've got a Sing Sing Marana up against Medusa at mid. Our offlaner is gonna be Timbersaw, and yes, this word does not block the camp. At 33. We'll be playing against the tri lane of Gyrocopter, Elder Titan, and uh, Shadow Demon. Gotta be very careful there because uh, Disruption into Stomp is really no joke. Uh, Beastmaster, played by Bambo, is going to be inside the jungle. And... Yeah, especially when you're on the earlier level, you don't really want to play too hard against the combo. Even if you're somewhat tanky like the Timbersaw, you really need those reactive armor stacks up first. Buff and stuff... Uh, harassing out Orchester. Maybe taking a couple of karate chops. And, well, Orchester gives himself a hat. Got it at the hat, hat store. Very stylish. Bone 7. Uh, just trying to farm up this uh, safe lane. He should be fine. Antimage is generally okay against the Iron Shell, especially if he goes from some early levels into Spell Shield. 33 going to take a missile to the face. Also got the stomp on him. This, uh... Other Titan is level 2. Rocket Barrage also coming through. 33 is taking a lot of harass right now, but he looks to be completely fine, especially with... Oh, yeah, he's got the salve as well as reactive armor. Orchester's basically got no mana anymore, so there's going to be no ion shells for him. He does have a salve and the clarity, so he will be back up to a lot of health and mana pretty soon, but it takes a while to get there, and it's going to give some free space for uh, Bone 7 to farm. Hoping for no Kai P throws this match. Sing Sing's farming pretty well right now. Slightly ahead of the Marana. Getting some nice denies. 10 for 7, actually. Uh, an inordinate, inordinate amount of denies at this early part of the game. <laughs> Just a little bit of spamming of the mana shield there. Thirty-three, just trying to take as much XP as he can. With the reactive armor going, he's wouldn't be very happy to just steal a little bit of XP from here. Uh, he gets another level into the reactive armor, and is very confident enough to just to go to the high ground. They've got a disruption available. There's going to be a stomp, and he will get hit by the sleep. Now the rocket barrage comes through, but he wants to go towards his creeps, trying to take some of the damage away. Misses coming through. He misses a timber chain. This might be your first blood. He's going to get stunned up, and do they give the kill over? Nope, that's a magic stick. Magic stick. But he's got three sacks of poison. Timbersaw just staying alive for a while though. 13, uh, 20 regen per second with the... Oh no, does he get out of this? 
there's no mana, and your timber stall stays alive. Balanced hero. Balanced hero, guys. 33 makes it out with his life on the top lane. That magic stick helped him out a lot. Uh, it's definitely a great item to pick, be picking up up against the uh, shadow team, and he's going to be spamming out those shadow poisons, so you're going to be getting a lot of magic stick charges from that. Look at all the mana that's stolen by Bone 7. Just smacking the Dark Seer around. Really doesn't care about the Iron Shell at all. And he's got the Spell Shield up as well. So he does take some damage from it, but he's got two rings of health. He's got the Ring of Health and the Ring of Regen. Getting a lot of health. And 33 just standing in the middle of the creep wave. Oh, just dodges that stomp as well. Putting some nice damage on the Gyrocopter. They basically only keep the creeps there for a couple more seconds, which you know, the Timber is probably completely fine with. He's really getting to the point where he's nearly unkillable on the offlane. I would say the Dyer have to try extremely hard or at least get a lot of levels up in order to have any chance of taking the Timbersaw down. Dark's here very low over at bottom. He won't go down just yet. The Fatal Bond's not quite enough to kill him. And uh, Master Sing Sing. Uh, putting some damage onto Medusa, who has the spell shield up. Um, doesn't have too much mana anymore, so we're not going to see any more Mystic Snakes. Maybe Sing Sing gets a bit more aggressive looking for the arrow, but the creeps have arrived here just in time. Shadow Demon was a little bit low on mana, so he may as well just kill himself to, to get back to base, get some um, more mana and health. TP back to bottom for the Darks here. He really wants to get back to that lane as soon as possible. Make it so that the... Bone 7 doesn't have too much free space, but Bambo comes in from beyond. He doesn't have his ultimate. Gonna force out the... There is the first blood. He forces out the TP as well from the Shadow Demon, and that beep might be just another kill for Kai P. Goes into the disruption. They've got to back up a little bit, but they are going to be able to take this down. Yeah, double kill for Sing Sing on the mid lane. Doesn't get hit by the tower enough to take him down either, and he's also got the healing salve ready to take him back nearly to full health. And there's also a double damage rune in the top lane for Sing Sing to pick up. At top, there's going to be a missile chasing down the Timber Saw, and he's just going to walk right into it, basically taking zero damage from it with those 15 reactive armor stacks up. And uh, Fluff and Stuff making his way over there right now. Interesting that Bamboo decides to rotate over without the Primal Roar. Generally, you're going to see a Beastmaster uh, rotate as soon as you get level 6, but he decides to go a little bit early, and they manage to get the first blood and the second. On the Medusa and Shadow Demon. Definitely a good rotation by him. Uh, missile is going to hit Timber Salt. Still basically doing no damage. Buff and stuff dodges the sleep. And 33 doing some nice damage to Quonley. Unfortunately, the kill is only going to be on Elder Time for now. But uh, but Quonley walks up a little bit far. Sexy Bambo, he's here. And he is level 6 right now. So he's got the Primal Roar um, available right now. And he will be able to use it on the 1.618 if he needs to. Four stacks of the Shadow Poison on the Timber Salt. But it's not going to be enough. It is only a level 2 Shadow Poison at this point, and this Timber Salt is tanky. You'll see it expired, does about 120 damage to him after the uh, Infused Raindrop. So, a nice rotation by Bambo, and he still has his Primal Roar a little bit too late to catch out the Medusa there. Uh, Sing Sing doing a ton of work on the mid lane, really harassing her out, making it so that the Medusa is going to take so long to get her farm up. And the Timber Saw is just doing Timber things at top, taking literally no damage from this uh, Shadow Word. Oh, that's because he's getting killed by it. My bad. <laughs> that's why he's taking no damage. I figured it out, boys. At bottom, we've got a bit of a aggression on the Darks here. There is a Primal Roar available. As soon as that Surge is used, they use it onto him. That should be the kill onto Orchester. Last hit taken by Bone 7, and they just rotate in for the kill. Finally using that Primal Roar. He saved it for so long. Probably wanted to use it on the Medusa in the mid lane, but they get definitely a kill that's very worth at bottom. Now he's got Timbersaw trying to get away. He's going to get the Soul Ring delivered to him. Shadow Demon thinking about going for the Courier, but uh, Warlock, he is here now, ready to heal off the Timbersaw. Gonna get disrupted now. The Stomp does hit for a little bit, but he's got the Rocket Barrage following him. 33 should be completely fine though, getting killed up still by the Shadow Word. Maybe they even decide to turn this around. They don't have too much personnel there. They might go on to the Gyrocopter. Also doing some damage to the Shadow Demon. They're looking for the... the uh, yeah, they are able to get the Timber Chain 
around. They're still going in. 25.1 regen per second on the timber cell. He's going to dive the tower. He's got 10 stacks on the stick. He's also got the uh, soul ring. Sing Sing is here. Going for the starfall. And he gets one kill. Gets a second on the gyrocopter. Taking down two of the three on the top lane. And Bone 7 is still farming. He's got his power treads up. That's going to be a double ion shell on him. It's only one level into the spell shield. I guess that's fine for now. Your re resistance doesn't actually go too much with your level 2. It's when you get up to like the 4th level or something that it, it's really a pretty substantial. But you don't really want to waste your levels on it too early. And Bone Summon is just going to be happy to uh, kill a couple of these ancient uh, hard camp creeps. A TP cancel over to the top lane. 33 just... He's tanking the tower. This is how Timber takes towers. He doesn't do the most physical damage, but he can tank the tower and heal up while it's hitting him. So he allows the creeps to take it. He's very happy to just get hit, get some regen. Bone 7 taken in the trees. He's going to be aggressive onto the gyrocopter. Gyrocopter still only level 5. No caught on for him yet. And Bone 7 hops in, helped by the bot, Bambo to take the kill. Now on the top lane, we've got a couple here coming in. Medusa is not ready with the stone caves because she doesn't have enough mana anymore. 33 comes in with the temper chain. Nearly no mana anymore for the Medusa. And Warlock is put Dyer's to sleep now. And it's a four against Duke here, but can uh, Besh be even do anything here? There's the ultimate. Golem coming through. That thing is awesome. Besh B trying to back away right now. 33 very low on mana, but the shotgun will come through. They take down the Shadow Demon, looking for the sleep, but 33 is super happy to take this because he's got 17 charges on the Magic Wand, and he just wants to get up close and personal with Grazi. Throws in the shotgun. That's the kill. Pressure onto the top tower. Oh, no. These creeps. These creeps are going to be taken out by the golem, but Colney needs to absolutely get back right now. Antimation takes the tower bottom. Pressure being put onto the tier 2 at top. Golem, please hit the creeps or something else. Flaming Fist. But that is more pressure onto the bottom tier 2. And Sexy Bambo with his Beastmaster, he can push pretty quickly along with the Antimage, who has some of the highest, lowest base attack time in the game. He attacks the fastest is what we're trying to say. Or is one of them. It's a couple years up there. So he's very adept at taking down towers. And look at this timber cell. He's just tanking the tower. 34.8 regen per second. Towers mean nothing to him. And the rest of his team, they're like, well, they're all on top. We can take mid, right? No goal for another 88 seconds, but they do have the Primal Roar up. Sing Sing's got a ton of damage. Um, getting pretty close to his Aghanim Scepter. He's got about a thousand gold left until he gets there. Sing Sing could get hit by the Stomp. In fact, he will. But the rest of his team is there to help him. Vacuum not available for the Dark Seed. They're only level 5. Where are all the levels for Besh Barmak? That's what I'm wondering right now. Roar goes out on the Gyrocopter. He does have the caught on. See if he's able to get it off at all. In fact, he is not. There is no chance to even get close to dropping that thing down. Urkester trying to back away. Gang taken down the Urn of Shadows. In fact, he will die to that. Grozny, another Urn of Shadows charge on the him. And Lol, he's got an anti chasing him down. Hit by the arrow. That's going to be four down on the mid lane. Only the Shadow Demon alive anymore. 17 kills to zero. Kai P putting on an absolute clinic. It wasn't back to team wipe and uh, they might think about going for the tier 3 now or they do have a tower top if they want to take that. Sing Sing has enough gold for his Aghanim Scepter so we're going to see these waves absolutely evaporate pretty soon. Tier 3 tower in mortal peril for Kai for uh, Best Bar Mac. And uh, one would think that this game is soon to be concluded. Kai P taking their tier 3 tower. Cardon's going to come through. Hits a little bit, but Bone 7 doesn't care about it too much at all. Getting healed up by the Shadow Word. 33 took a lot of damage from that, but he is healing up right now. And Piranha hasn't bought up the Aghanim Scepter just yet. He probably wants to do that fairly soon, but, you know, they're just pushing some racks. Just a bunch of boys pushing some racks. There's going to be the Stomp coming through. Bone 7 is having a little bit of a, a, a bout of epilepsy there, but he is fine. Uh, thinking about putting that uh, missile down, runs away from it for a little bit. Orchester walks in. He's only got the wall, but no vacuum, and they're just going to walk right in, taking him down. Golem gets dropped down on the floor, all stunned up, all are dead, except for this 
Medusu might make it back to the base, but she's just going to hit the uh, Timber Salt for a while, so done by the shotgun, and that will be the full five-man team wipe. All are dead. There you go. And uh, I think 33 might have been doing a little bit while well, he's healing. <laughs> he's like, look, these towers are hitting me. I'm almost dead. Please heal me. We can take these towers, guys. Arrow comes through, and it's going to hit on the gyrocopter. Jeez, he surged, but he's not moving because he's stunned. Surging the gyrocopter, uh, basically when it doesn't help at all. Disruption comes out onto the anti -mage. They're going to have a couple of anti -mage illusions for this one. This is where the Shadow Demon could be strong, but I think it might be a little bit too little too late. Wall comes out, but you've got no vacuum, dude. There's a Timber Saw illusion. He walks through the, walks through the wall. He walks through the Trump wall. Unfortunately, you can't make this wall higher. You already built it. Sing 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 ready to Sing Sing. Sing Sing is way to victory. But Quolvely goes forward. The arrow comes through, just misses 6.18, 1.618 because he has dodged it. One tier four tower down, and that will be the GG. Besh Barmak decide that it is time to leave. And Kaipi will be moving on to the round of 128 on their uh, campaign through the Boston Major EU Open Qualifier. I guess we're getting a little bit of a cancel on the GG, but all these heroes are still dying. There's really no hope for them at all. And with Kaipi just go for the base. So that will do it, Kai P. It was a pretty easy victory for them. 26 kills this year. Maybe they make it even more if this game doesn't stop soon enough. Uh, arrow hits inside the base. They're probably going to try to take this one. Yep. 33 just goes inside the base. Going to be healing up a lot. Nearly gets killed, but he is fine. Alright, game ends. Kai P go on. We'll see if we can catch another uh, lobby for them as we move on. If you are watching on Dota TV, feel free to go over to the Twitch stream. Have a little bit of production value happening there. Not too much, just very casual stuff, but twitch.tv slash Lagoon. Thank you all for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter at PatreonLagoon. And uh, also, if you're interested in other matches going on throughout the qualifiers, make sure you check out twitch.tv slash Oracle, uh, Oracle Zone. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, cheers.